Maybe you are like me. I became obsessed trying to figure out what it takes to have a successful career. And it turns out it only takes two things, but despite searching for this for over 20 years, I only realized those two things when I observed the very first person I hired. And the first thing that you need is intent. At the time I made my first hire, I was young and clueless. And when I spoke to Ilya first, he made it very clear that he had no real experience in what I wanted to do and the area that I tried to build. As a matter of fact, he tried to convince me very hard that I was crazy. Well, at least that's how I remember it. But there is one thing that stood out to me. I knew about his intentions. I knew that all he wanted to do is add value. He wanted to succeed by adding to the team, to the company, to me. Of course, skill, experience and talent, they all matter at some stage, but none of them matter without a clear intent. You can't build a career based on talent alone but you can build it on the intention of changing something and make it better. Now you may say, but Kai, I heard that goal setting is the most important task. You set a clear goal, you visualize, and then you become successful. Setting the right goals for your business is a must if you want your business to succeed and grow. But just because you set a goal, it doesn't necessarily mean you've got enough desire and drive to want to achieve it. Example goals business owners wish to achieve include things like hitting $30,000 revenue by the end of year two in business or building their email list to 10,000 subscribers. They're great sounding goals and it's understandable that you'll want to achieve them. However, at our core, we all want connection and purpose in life. And those type of goals don't make you feel more connected or that you are living your purpose. This is why when you eventually reach those goals, it often comes with a feeling of emptiness because you haven't addressed those core needs. And this is where intention comes into play. Intention is the part that is often missed out. It's the more personal and often internal reason why you want to achieve something. So if you ever felt hollow after you've achieved your goal, it is because you failed to infuse some of those intentions into your goals. Goals give you a destination, whilst your intentions gives you the why, the way you want to be and live, and the feelings you want to experience whilst on the way to that desired end result. In other words, your intentions gives you the drive to show up on a daily basis and work on achieving your goals. So. An example of a goal set with intention could be to make four sales a week with the intention of engaging daily with your audience. You know that this engagement means you can have a deeper connection and a better relationship with your target market. Ilya went on to do great things in my team and also afterwards, and it was based on his very clear intentions and being transparent about them. But even with the best of intentions, there is another element that you need for a successful career. And you guessed it, that one I've learned from Ilya too. And that one is culture. So what is culture? And why is it so crucial for the success of your career? First of all, culture is everywhere. Every country has it, every organization, every family. And in its essence, it's just how things are done around here. How do you interact? What are your values and what are your behaviors? Because if you can align everyone to buy into that same set of values, you are far more productive and effective. And that is without judgment. It can be a lovey-dovey, we are all friends culture, or a cutthroat, everything is a competition culture. Because what matters here is that everyone buys into the same set of values. And as a result, you get things done much easier, much quicker. So why is it so crucial for success in your career? Because we often overlook those cultural elements. We come across opportunities and we think, hey, the money is good and it's exactly what I wanted to do and it also aligns exactly with my intentions. But once you start working, you realize that those around you are different. They do things a certain way, maybe a way that seems strange or weird or counterproductive to you. And soon thereafter, you regret that culture because you think that the way you do things are much better. And you may be right, but unless you're working just by yourself with no one else around you, no customers, no clients, no one, 
it doesn't matter. Ilya and I had a work relationship first, but we also became friends because our core values aligned while our styles remained very, very different. And as Ilya went on to do bigger and better things later on in life, he always kept talking about the people around him, how work is being done and how it makes him feel. So there you have it. Yes, you need talent and perseverance and healthy goals to succeed in your career. But what I would urge you to do is consider first, what are your intentions? Why do you want to pursue a certain goal? And second, how do you want to achieve it? In what environment and with what type of people around you? And when you let yourself guide through those two principles, then yes, maybe you will pass on a few opportunities that come your way, even some that look really attractive. But you will find those opportunities that let you excel in your career in a way that makes you truly fulfilled. And that is what I wish for you. And of course, can't wait to see you in the next video.